guys, one more video about the Oz robots is what they came in, and it's just going to be a short clip. They came with one of the pa of the um, patterns. They're the same if you look, but it only came with one. And, of course, it came with one robot, one of the little um, masks. Um... All these instructions and calibration cards. Calibration cards. Can you make your own patterns? Yes. You have to use wide markers and there's stickers right here, but I don't know what they're for, so I'm just gonna put those down. Do you wanna show the kids? You you put two Osmos on one pad? Yes, and they're a low on charge, but I'll try to get them to work. Um. So I'm going to only use pad one. They read the colors, don't they? Yeah. See? It's red because it's low on charge. They both are. But let's see if I move it here. No. See, they re re see they react with each other and they don't, they don't get mad at each other. So that's pretty cool. And anyways, they come with these carrying cases and one robot in each set. I'm going to turn these off for later. And as you can see, they fit perfectly in here. Now I'm just going to try, try to get them in the case because sometimes... It's a little tricky because they have to be like exactly in the middle. Um, here it is. It's in this little case. And this is the same thing. And there's just one thing that will not work is if you go like that and then it just watch it won't even fit even if you try so they only fit in one way yeah you could do this you could do that but we're going to wrap it up for today and thank you and goodbye you know. are you ready yeah we're on we're live on the hi. internet hi everyone i'm Showing you my auto bot again. I, me and my dad drew patterns. This is my dad's. The, I drew this. And the auto bots are just kind of walking around, maybe scanning, maybe scanning them. I, and if they run into each other like that, it's easy. Just pick them up and put them on a different trail. So hopefully they won't turn like they're going to. I'm going to close the trail. Go. What do the different colors mean? The different colors mean they might scan the color and sometimes um, they might need to recharge on a color. Or, well, they won't need to recharge on a color, but for <laughs> certain ones... They'll spin, but are not for some reason. So it's like coding, huh? Yeah. It's like coding. Let's see. What are you using to code? That's a tornado. Well, it was doing a tornado. It's pretty much coding, and here's the sheet to copy off. And you will need a black, green, red, and blue markers. Are they the thin markers or the wide markers? I'll show you. They're, they're the wide markers because they can't run on very thin trails. Because it's too narrow for them to scan, if you could see. See how you have gaps? You think the gaps in your marker might be an issue? Yeah. But Check that out. Um, especially they can't make certain turns, but that's my start of the trail. So you could just go... Outline it. I'll get that more. Well, 
like that to help them get through. So I'm just going to patch up this. And see if they get stuck. Go right in. What if we put it the other way? Maybe it has to run a certain way. And they will do that. They will run off their trail. No problem. Just put them back on. It, that is okay because sometimes they will get confused. This is you doing pretty good. Very good. And there's another one on my dad's trail. Okay. Thank you for showing us this. You're welcome. Your mom. Want to see if the phone is too robot? Oh, it's hard. It was pink. It was pink. It was pink. Okay. 